In this video, I show you how to make an exciting link tree section in your website for desktop and mobiles with Cadence Blocks. I also explain why you should stop using link tree services. So, without further ado, let's begin. Hi and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you don't know me, I am Natalie. I'm from Portugal. In this channel, I talk about all things related to WordPress websites. The first step is to activate Cadence elements inside the Cadence dashboard. Head over to the Appearance tab and click on the Cadence menu. Inside there, toggle on the Conditional Headers and the Hook Elements options. The link tree service is one of the first and most popular tools to insert unlimited links in your Instagram profile or at your website page in order to keep things organized. However, no tool is perfect and it has some limitations. For example, the lack of a custom domain option with Linktree. All Linktree profiles, paid or free, contain the string Linktree in the URL as you are watching. Another reason is if you use Linktree, you are driving traffic to Linktree, so it doesn't take people to your website. A clever way, though, is to build your own links page easily by using Cadence Blocks. This is a Cadence Starter template I have imported into my local website. This is a Cadence Starter template I have imported. Next, I want to add my custom links into my About page. Later on, we create a custom header and the custom mobile footer area containing branding links by using Cadence Elements and Cadence Conditional Content feature. Click on the plus icon to add a block and then do a quick search for the Advanced Button block. With this advanced button block, you get a lot of advantages. You can set the width and the height of every button. You can also add icons to every button, customize the color. Afterwards, you duplicate the button to build out the rest of your link tree area. It has been added. I quickly grab my Instagram profile link, copy the profile URL, paste the copy profile URL anywhere. You can paste the URL by clicking the block or instead by using the right sidebar. Click on the down arrow to apply the bottom link. There you go. With just a few clicks away, you got your first Instagram profile link. You can set up the bottom width. Under the bottom width section, I have specified a 400 pixels fixed width. Then I adjust the background colors for when normal and on on over stage and add an icon. Then click on the duplicate icon on the toolbar instead of creating another one. I want to add my Facebook profile link below. I change the bottom text to Facebook, change the icon, I copy my Facebook profile link and paste it here. Quite easy in just a few clicks without the need to write any code. Then I duplicate it once more, the button block, to add my YouTube profile link. Change the button text and then copy my YouTube profile web link and paste it into the right spot. The only thing I need to change now is the icon, so I search for YouTube icon. Duplicate it once more, this time to bring in my Twitter profile link. This is the final version with the four web links, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube and Instagram. Let's check for tablets and mobiles now. Inside the same page, click on the tablet icon. My content is not center at all. What can you do to fix this issue? This is quite easy. In the tablet layout, you are offered, you are offered with four possible layouts. With the row being selected, adjust the number of columns. I go with this one. I need also to change the design layout to this section. So select the row. In the sidebar, I change the row layout. You could also adjust the padding, the margin, the column gutter, that is the spacing between columns. It's looking great for tablets view. For this section, I adjust the table layout for a grid layout. Now I click on mobiles. I change the row layout to four equal columns. Continue editing your columns until you are happy with the layout. Back to the desktop view, let me show you a quick and easy way to remove the header and the footer altogether. 
click on the Cadence Page Settings. On the right sidebar, in the Block Editor, you can disable the header and the footer by toggling up. Now I want to use the Cadence Elements templates to replace the header and replace the footer. Navigate over to Appearance option inside the WordPress Customizer. Select the header section and scroll down and activate conditional header. Click on the head header blue button. I'm going to use the start basic option. Then expand the options by clicking on the down arrow. Inside the label, I assign my header label. In the display settings, I specify to be shown on the single pages as is my about page. Below, you must specify the individually option and to select the page, you just need to click on select items in order to filter the posts. I select the about for my example. In the exclude settings, you define whether you want to hide the header or not. I want my header to be visible to all users and publish. Next step is to make our custom header. Leave the, cust the WordPress customizer and head over to Cadence Elements tab. Click on the head new button. For the element setup, I go with content section. Now we design the layout. This is gonna be a simple one. Click on the plus icon to add a container, a single row block. Click on the plus icon to add an icon block. On the right sidebar, I select my icon to be this one. I choose, you can choose from over 1005 SVG files. And I also have a green border radius. Now, for the element settings, click on this little pencil icon at the top right. Under the placement, I specify replace header option with the Hey priority. For the display settings, I determine to be display on the single pages. And below, I specify I want the about page just like it I did before. I want it to be visible to all users. Let's check now on the front end and how it, look, how it looks like. It is. The default header has been totally replaced without the need to code. I come back to Cadence Elements tab to make my custom footer. Click on the content section. Inside the WordPress editor, I had a two Cadence column row. I switched the two elements settings by clicking on this little pencil icon. Let's set up this quickly. The placement is replace footer with a 8 priority definition visible to all my users and it's on my about page. I select the page item from the list and then I tweak my cadence row layout into a three equal columns. For the first column I had an icon block. I search for the Twitter icon. I use Use this three lines icon at to the top to select your box. It make us our life easier. I select the row layout. To the right sidebar, you can add your background color just like that. Duplicate the icon block and drag it to the right column. I tweak the icon into YouTube icon. Duplicate it once more and drag it. Now let's preview for tablet view. As you can see, the best mo the best mobile layout is the column layout. Layout. For mobile view, select the columns layout. You can assign the column collapse order and more. As to me, I like the way it is and publish. Opening the about page on the front end, I scroll down for desktop view. Oh, it looks great. Let's edit the footer element. It's quite easy to edit an element. Head over to Cadence Elements and select the element. Inside the WordPress editor, I select the row block. Let's make some styling tweaks in order to create custom links similar to the Instagram profile on mobiles. Removing the background color and the icon colors is so easy. Now I change it to mobile view from the right sidebar. The correct, the correct mobile layout is the vertical one. Let's put a background color on each icon's column. You achieve this by selecting the section block first and then from the right sidebar select the container style. I have chosen a green color and the icon color is white now. I have repeated the same procedure for the remaining icons. Selecting the section 
from the left sidebar and then tweaking the colors from the right sidebar. I fast forward the video now. I use the column gutter settings to adjust the space between columns to no gutter or to an arrow or to a 10 pixels. Next, I want to add a profile picture just like Instagram design. It's pretty easy. Click on the plus sign to add a new block. I added an image block. On the styles, I picked the rounded. I inserted from my media library the file I want to use. I need to place this block image above in front of my links. So how do I do this? First, from the toolbar, I align the image. Then select the image block first and click on the top arrow icon to push above. It's that simple. Now I want to add the text name. Click on once more on the plus icon and add a paragraph block. I select the paragraph and then I added an example name. Align the text, a bold text. Then just like before, click on the top arrow to push above the links block. It's the same technique. Now you know how to create your own customized links section to help your audience connect with your content. I really hope you like this video. If you want to support this channel, make sure you smash the like button or subscribe to my channel so I keep producing more free videos for you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.